Hey Zomheads! I'm here with Betsy. We're just hanging out. So today we're going to talk about Stephen Beck. Who's Stephen Beck? Oh my god, you don't know who Stephen Beck is. Stephen Beck on Z Nation. Doc. We're talking about Doc. Love Doc. Oh my god, it's like one of my favorite characters. Don't shut me down and stay around. Alright, so we're just going to set Betsy back here. She always likes staying in the background. I'm sporting my new hat. Didn't take the tag off yet. This is from Nerd Block. Horror Block. And it says, Jason Liz. I love it. So let's talk Steve Back. Steve Back is the character's name on Z Nation. And his nickname is Doc. So why do they call him Doc? Do you know why they call him Doc? They call him Doc for several reasons. One, he's an ER fan. He loves ER. He's watched episodes upon episodes of ER. And so when they ask him like to help fix people up, he's like, yeah, I've watched ER. So he's an ER fan. He's also good with pharmaceuticals. And I put in my favorites, um, in my favorites section, you guys can watch it. It's actually a panel of Z Nation cast and Doc, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not Doc. His real name is Russell Hodgkinson. And anyway, so he's on the panel and he does talk about weed should not be used except for medicinal purposes in a funny way. I was really surprised. I never um, has been able to meet any members of the uh, Z Nation cast because they just haven't come to Florida. If they come to Florida, I am so there. So I've never seen them in person. I've never seen them on a panel and I watch this panel and I was really kind of surprised and happy. Um, if he is who he presented on that panel, he's kind of like Doc. I mean, he's kind of like a free-flowing spirit with a good sense of humor. And something you might not know about Russell Hodgkinson, and this is why I was really surprised that he was so easygoing and like a free spirit, is that, um, he, well, first, he's a Floridian, all right? So he's from the same state as I am, and he served in the military. And so, oh, by the way, if you're watching Mr. Hodgkinson, thank you for serving. And um, so he was in the military. I think it was the Army, which, interesting enough, Doc, the character, Stephen Beck, he served in the Navy. So that's kind of a cool little tidbit. Um, the character served in the Navy, but the real actor served in the military, which I think it was Army, but I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me. And so when I saw him on the panel, I was really surprised. Uh, because of his free-going, easy nature, you know, sometimes the actors aren't a lot like the characters that they play. Anyway, go to my Recommended by Dr. Lola um, on my homepage and find that Z Nation panel. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, so, seeing him being so easygoing, you know, I'm thinking a uh, military person being more stoic, less animated, maybe a more restricted sense of humor, but he wasn't. He really surprised me. And I actually thought I was watching Doc on there, even though I know it's not. It's, it's Mr. Rusty. R Rusty's his nickname. Mr. Rusty was up there. And um, so, I got, I like him as a person by just watching him interact with those fellow actors and you know fielding questions from the fans um, okay let's get back to the character though so Doc um, he was in the Navy and he had a son um, he had a son when he's like 19 and he doesn't know where he is or at least Z Nation writers haven't told us where his son is or if his son's alive one thing I like about Doc's character is his connection with 10k you know and so when he met Doc like he saved Doc's life Doc was wrestling with Zom and 10K fielded that and saved him. And so him and Doc kind of have a unique relationship. He lost his dad and Doc is kind of like a surrogate father. And Doc, well, he may have lost his son. We don't know where he is, but we definitely know that he, he doesn't have contact with his son. And 10K is kind of like a surrogate son. And so that one episode where Doc was in the... Um, the elevator shaft and he was smoking Z-weed with the Zom, his last joint, right? And um, they threw the grenade down there and it blew up. Well, he came out, he was looking like a zombie. War a Lieutenant Warren thought he was a zombie, right? Because he was just kind of like staggering around and all that. And um, she told 10K that he was gone. 
and you could see the look on his face. And so when he was actually um, not a zombie, you know, he had just su survived an explosion, you know, you could see the 10K sort of lightened up and he was a lot happier. They have a very special relationship. And that relationship um, and that dynamics of, you know, one losing a father and one losing a son is really touching. It's just, and they don't like shove it in your face. It's kind of like a hue, you know it's there and it's just a touching relationship. Uh, he has really interesting relationships. He's, I mean, he's got relationships with Warren and um, Cassandra and Addie. Doc has a different relationship with 10K than he does the other members of the group, even though he met him later. I think Doc has the strongest connection with 10K. Doc first met 10K when 10K shot that Zom and saved Doc's life. Um, you know, he ran away, and then later on, they reconnected, you know, the people, survivors were in the truck, and Doc's like, hey, why don't you come with us? And 10K kind of just shrugs his shoulders and, and goes with them. There's really not a lot of emotion expressed between the two of them, but the behaviors that they have shows a lot of emotion. So at first, Doc looks like he's a wild card. Um, you know, you're thinking you don't know what he's going to do, but actually he's one of the level-headed people in that group, and he has a very calming demeanor. Um, he also, like, adds a lot to the humor. Uh, I know the Murph is humorous as well with his, you know, his um, lines that he has, but I think that if they ever took Doc out of the series, it would change it drastically in a big, big way. You know, Doc adds the, um, he adds a different humor to the show. So, Doc, like, I love his quotes. Like, uh, when they were at the satellite, he was saying, oh, man, maybe we'll pick up some porn. He's like, I'll take a milkshake with that. Um, what else has he said? Like, Holy acid flashback, man. So, you know, Doc was an ex-addict. Uh, currently using and kind of currently dealing in, in pot, right? Weed, they call it. And so he was an ex-addict. And I connected with Doc when they showed the flashback. He was a counselor or a psychologist. But either way, whatever he was, we know that he was in the mental health field um, treating addictions when the zombie apocalypse hit. And so because of my field being a psychologist, that automatically drew me to him. Um... He's a funny character. He is trustworthy, he is quirky, he's empathetic, um, and he's caring. Like, he's the closest thing to a, a therapist that they have on that show, right? So, like, in the episode Frackin' Zombies, he, um... Alright, so Murphy revealed to him that he had a phobia of zombies from experience, and Doc, he's like, chill out, relax, take a breath, dude. And the zombies start coming. He's like, all right, all right. He knew that, like, his interventions weren't working. And the Murph was kind of freaking out, going erotic on him. And so he went out to try to take care of the zombies. So Doc is always there to kind of, like, be that soothing voice of, like, it's going to be okay and all that. Well, except for the Viagra one. He was something like, he said something like, um... Like, I take drugs, but there's not enough drugs in the world to make me want to be around those Viagrazies. I'm sure I was really getting upset with the show because I thought we were losing Doc. One is the one in the elevator shaft when they threw the, the grenade. And the other one was when he got shot by Dr. Curian. Oh, yeah. And then the other one was when he was fighting with that other guy and he had, like, that out-of-body experience. I don't know why they're playing with us on that, you know needs to just leave, leave Doc alone. Don't you want to Doc now? He has the most experience of living in the world. He's the oldest one of the group, so he's been on the planet longer before the Zoms came, and he is the most experienced person with the life before the zombies. You know, 10K is what, in his 20s? Um, Cassandra was in her 20s. You know, Murphy's probably was in his 30s. Uh, but uh, Warren, I don't know, I'm guessing like uh, 30s, but um, Doc, he's older. He's an older man, and he's he was in the Navy, and he had a family, and he had a really bad bout 
of substance use. We know that because he was sober for five years, according to, you know, the flashback that he had when he was doing the counseling that patient. And so he must have hit rock bottom like five years prior to the zombie apocalypse. Uh, maybe he saw some stuff uh, in his military, uh, being in the Navy, I don't know. They haven't disclosed that yet to us. But he was a drug addict, and he sobered up, and he was f his fifth year in recovery. So he has been some places and back. He has seen the world and has experienced life a lot more than all the other members of the group who are a lot younger than him. He's still the person that has the most experience. So he contributes a lot. You know, and that's a lot of his humor too. A lot of his humor, like like with 10K when he was saying, oh yeah, maybe we can get some porn. At 10K, like he never saw porn before. He doesn't really know what porn is. And so that right there in that scene, you know, that shows us that he, had, um, he has had a lot more experiences than the younger members of the group. He's also more laid back than everybody else. He is more purposeful in his behavior, even though you might not think he is. He has a really good instinct about him. He's trying to keep people out of trouble, from getting in conflicts with each other. So I just love Doc. You know, I can't wait till the season starts. So Z Nation season three is gonna start September 16th at eight o'clock, not nine o'clock. September 23rd will be nine o'clock. But the premiere is September 16th. They're going to show two back-to-back -back episodes. So it's kind of like a two-hour movie. And it's going to show, um, from what I understand, I could be wrong, but from what I understand, it's going to show some flashbacks, some backstory on our characters, and then leading up to, of course, the showdown between Murphy and Lieutenant Warren. So oh my, I'm just really excited. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Get viewership up. Spread the word. They got to have Z Nation in their life, right? Because Z Nation is fast paced. It keeps you interested. It's a dark comedy. It makes you laugh. It makes you chuckle. Life is too hard. Why do all the drama crying crap all the time? Let's get some Z Nation in your life. Okay. <sighs> anyway, I really do like Z Nation. It's an awesome show. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. And, uh, you know, I just want to say that I really enjoy Doc as a character. And I think Russell Hodgkinson plays him well. And I don't know uh, Mr. Rusty, but just watching him on the um, panel, I really would like to meet him. I wish I could. And, um, oh, you know... There's something really nice when people like appreciate um, having fans and uh, especially, you know, I am a sane fan. I'm not an insane fan. I think it could be pretty scary, you know, putting yourself out there and meeting all these people and all that. And um, also on the other hand is fan. It's like, you know, you like the character and sometimes when you meet the person you know you might not really like them so much even though you don't have a lot of time from the opinion because most of the interactions are quick uh, what I have seen of Mr. Rusty and you know following him on Twitter and stuff like that watching the panel and man he just seems like he really is that down home genuine person um, so that makes me feel good it makes me happy so alright you guys September 16th, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So, we'll see you soon. Bye. But one thing I like about dogs. What? Hey, guys. Hey, Zomheads. Betsy and Betsy here. Dr. Lola. Betsy, Dr. Lola. A lot of this humor, like, like with the 10K. With the 10K. when they threw the the um thingy the explosion thingy the bomb the grenade you know um blah.